dangerous and delusional. Megan put on the alert as fled spewing hate and disdain at the entire firm. A U.S. columnist has questioned why Meghan Markle is still referred to using her Duchess title after she and Prince Harry quit royal duties. American blogger Perez Hilton retweeted a post by royal biographer Ahmed Scobie referring to Meghan as Duchess Meghan. Mr. Hilton wrote, why refer to her as Duchess Meghan? Meghan Markle and Harry walked away from that life. Mr. Scobie replied, she still has, and uses, a title so there's no change on that front. Every major outlet still uses their titles. Meghan and Harry kept their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles after quitting as working royals in March 2020. However, the pair agreed to stop using their HRH styles as part of the Megxit agreement. In the United States, the Sussexes are pursuing new lifestyles of personal and financial freedom. They have two children, Archie and Lilibet, and live in a mansion in California. The pair visited the United Kingdom for the first time in two years on Thursday, where they met the Queen and Prince Charles at Windsor Castle. The Duke has previously visited Britain on his own two times. The Sun reported a busload of tourists had seen the couple visiting Windsor Castle. Harry and Meghan stopped in the UK en route to the Netherlands for the Invictus Games. Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, said the Sussexes had offered an olive branch with the visit following considerable tensions with the royals. Ms. Sewer told the Sun newspaper, it is a wonderful opportunity to clear the air and offer an olive branch. After everything that has gone on it must have taken a lot for Harry and Meghan to go to Windsor. Also Maundy Thursday is a very special day for the Queen as it is about forgiveness. She is not one to hold grudges and I think she would have happily welcomed them with open arms. It comes after Harry and Meghan missed Prince Philip's memorial service at Westminster Abbey last month. Harry is currently bringing a claim against the Home Office after being told he would no longer be given the same degree of personal protective security when visiting from the US, despite offering to pay for it himself. The Sussexes' unannounced return to the UK also comes as concerns continue to mount over the Queen's health. The monarch is expected to miss another traditional event of the Easter period on Sunday. The 95-year-old recovered from Covid in February which she admitted left her feeling very tired and exhausted. The Queen, who spent a night in hospital last October before being ordered by doctors to rest, has also been experiencing mobility issues. Previously, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the Queen had a low-key reunion behind the walls of Windsor Castle on Thursday, following the high drama of their royal leave. Prince Harry and Meghan may not have announced their trip ahead of time, but it will be the Duchess's first to Europe in the two years since they left the UK in March 2020 and stepped away from formal royal life. According to Joe Little, managing editor of Majesty magazine, this would have been classified as a family gathering, like any private get-togethers, rather than an official engagement, and hence would not have been advertised in advance. A very welcome if long overdue move on the part of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, he said of the meeting, which came one week before the Queen's 96th birthday next Thursday. The couple are also understood to have met Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, who were at Windsor for the Maundy Thursday service at which Charles stood in for the Queen. But for a busload of tourists, who saw the Sussexes looking relaxed and happily waving back to castle visitors, as one later told the Sun, news of the reunion may not have emerged until the Sussexes had departed the UK for The Hague to attend the Invictus Games for Wounded Service Personnel, founded by Harry.